It's time to play Family Feud. Get up for Steve Harvey. I appreciate everybody. Well, welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. Folks, we're turning for our fifth and final day. With a total of 60,288 bucks from Wellswell, Georgia. It's the champs. It's the run, family. And from Austin, Texas, it's the Edwards family. Everybody's here trying to win ourselves a lot of cash. And today, if the Ron family wins today's game, they're going to drive out here in a brand new car. Let's play the feud. Let's get it on. Give me Kim. Give me Nick. Here you go. Top seven answers on the board. Here we go. Name a good way to teach children the value of money. Money, money. Yeah. Pass the play. We're gonna play, Steve. We're gonna play. Mm -hmm. Hello, Nick. How you doing? I'm doing good, Steve. Introduce your family. All right, uh, we're from Austin, Texas. This is my my father, Thomas. My my cousin, Cameron. My my sister, Linda, and my and my cousin, Sabrina. Mm. All right, Thomas. Name a good way to, to teach children the value of money. Take them shopping. Take them shopping? Yeah! Woo! Cameron. Name a good way to teach children the value of money. I'm gonna say they're pay for own stuff. Pay for own stuff. Ding. Linda, name a good way to Teach children the value of money. Don't give money. Don't give money. Sabrina. Never good way to teach children the value of money. I'm going to say their personality, the personality. Only one strike, Nick. Name a good way to teach children the value of money. Um, three seconds. Only two strikes now, Thomas. The the Ron family can steal. Name a good way to teach children the value of money. Their savings, saving. Yeah! Woo! Mm. All right, Cameron. Name a good way to teach children the value of money. They're um, tooth fairy. They're tooth fairy. Cam, name a good way to teach children the value of money. 
Open bank account. Open bank account. Number three. Earn it, chores. Mm. Let's move on to question two. Gim, give me Kelly, give me Thomas. Here we go. We got the top five answers on the board. Tell me an occupation in which you deal with people's feet. Ponderance. Fast or play? We're gonna play, Steve. We're gonna play. Dave, tell me an occupation you wish you deal with people's feet. I'm gonna say they're feveologists, feveologists. Mm. Barb, I mean, excuse me, Debbie. Tell me an occupation you wish you deal with people's feet. I'm gonna say Measures, measures. Mm. Barb, tell me an occupation which you do with people's feet. Their eyes, their eyes. Mm. Only one strike, Kim. Tell me an occupation which you do with people's feet. The feud. The feud. Two strikes. Edward's family can steal. Dave, tell me an occupation which you deal with people's feet. They're selfish. They're selfish. Edward's family, here's your chance. Tell me an occupation which you deal with people's feet. Medical stress. Medical All right, let's see number three. Shoe salesman. Mm. All righty. Edwards family seventy seven. Our returning ten champs. The run family sixty eight. Goals three hundred points. Don't go away. So we're coming right back. Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. We got a close one. Edwards Family 77. Our returning champs to Ron Family 68. Give me Dave, give me Cameron. <laughs> Gentlemen, point values are double. We got the top six answers on the board. Here we go. Name a ball altercation for someone who's believed to late. Police officer. Police officer. Yeah. 
give you the quick answer. A fireman. A fireman. Mm. Pass the play. We're going to play, Steve. We're going to play. Debbie. Name a ball altercation for someone who is a heavy late. I'm going to say uh, a nurse. A nurse. Barb. Name a ball altercation for someone who's a bit who would be too late. A bus driver. A bus driver. Yay. All right, Kim. Name a ball altercation for someone who's who is pretty late. Doctor, doctor. Kelly, name a ball altercation for someone who's who is pretty late. I'm going to say three seconds. Dave, only one strike. Name a ball altercation for someone who is whipsy late. I'm going to say uh, a customer. A customer. Two strikes. Edwards family can steal. Debbie. Name a ball altercation for someone who is whipsy late. Teacher. Teacher. One answer left, Barb. Name a ball altercation for someone who's so rude to be late. Half the total late. I'm going to say they're. I don't know. Edwards family, here's your chance. What do you think it is? Name a ball occupation for someone who's habitually late. I'm gonna say uh, a mailman. A mailman. Mm -hmm. Still anybody's game. The Edwards family 191. I will turn your chance to Ron family 68. And remember, if the Ron family wins today's game, they're gonna drive out here in a brand new car. We'll be right back. Close captioning is sponsored puck by. Give me Debbie, give me Linda. Alright, in this round, four values are triple, top four answers on the board. Here we go.
McDonald's in Paris. Name something you might miss while you are traveling overseas. My home, my home. Pass the play. We're gonna play, Steve. We're gonna play. All right, Barb. In Mc McDonald's in Paris, name something you might miss while you you are traveling overseas. Good eats, good eats. Kim, McDonald's in Paris, name something you might miss while you are traveling overseas. Uh, family, family. All right, one answer left, Kelly. If it's there, your family steals, your family drive out of here, and a brand new car. But if it's not there, you're still alive. McDonald's in Paris, name something you might miss while you are on traveling overseas. I'm gonna say there, a food menu. This is for the win, food menu. Only one strike, Dave. McDonald's in Paris, name something you might miss while you're traveling overseas. I'm going to say there, candy, candy. All right, Debbie, you got two strikes. If it's there, your family steals, your family gets to drive out here in a brand new car. But if it's not there, the Edwards family can steal and win. I'm going to say TV. This is for the win and a car. TV. You did it! You win the car! We'll be right back! The Ron family wins the car! We're gonna play fast money from $20,000 in the top of that car! Alright, you ready? Ready. 20 seconds on the clock. Time's at the right start after I read his first question. Give me a word that rhymes with cheat. Beat. Name a kind of item that people frequently buy on, on impulse. Food. Name a job so dangerous you wouldn't want a police officer. Name something specific you always want out when you're sick. Tissues. 
Name a place where you wish people wouldn't take their dogs. Restaurant. Turn around. Here we go. Give me a word that rhymes with cheat. You said, beat. Survey said, Name a kind of item that people frequently buy of on impulse. You said food. Survey said mm. name a job so dangerous you wouldn't want it. You said police officer. Survey said. And name something specific you always want out when you're sick. You said tissue survey said. Mm -hmm. Name a place where you wish people wouldn't take their dogs. You said restaurant survey said. All right, Dave got 146 points. Yes, we are 54 points right now. I actually same five questions. Don't duplicate the answer. You do, you're gonna hear this sound. Uh -uh. I'll say try again. No answer. A little tougher this time. We give you 25 seconds. You ready? Minds everybody of Dave's answers. 25 seconds on the clock. Times after I start, after I read his first question. Give me a word that rhymes with cheat. Seat. They a kind of item that people frequently buy on impulse. Jewelry. Name a job so dangerous you wouldn't want it. Window washer. Name something specific you always want out when you're sick. Juice. Name a place where you wish people wouldn't take their dogs. Stores. Turn around. Mm -hmm. Give me a word that rhymes with cheat. You said, seat. Survey said. Beat and B-E-E-T was number one. Name a kind of item that people frequently buy on impulse. You said, Jewelry survey said. Uh, food was and sweets was number one. Every job so dangerous you wouldn't want to. You said. Window washer survey said. Police officer or law enforcement was number one. Name something specific when you always want out when you're sick. You said, Jew survey said.
tissue survey, excuse me, medicine was number one. Name a place where you will wish people wouldn't take their dogs, you said. Stores, survey said. Park was the number one answer. Five dollars a point. That's one hundred and ninety three bucks. That's your that's your five day total. Sixty-one thousand one hundred and ninety-three bucks. You win the car and congratulations. We're gonna have two brand new families to play Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks.